going forward for uh, cancer treatment? You think it's going to be like a vaccine type thing? Is it going to be a better understanding of the immune function? Like, what's your guess? Well, I think that the vaccines developed, they've become unpopular simply because no one believed, and it's largely because of the evidence that's accumulated to show that the vaccines are not very responsive and not very able to generate regression of tumours. But in certain cases, they can. And it's these certain cases that I think are so vitally important. They show that it can be done. You need many, many cases to demonstrate that something doesn't work, but you only need one case to show that it can work. And this is the interesting thing, that certain vaccines in certain circumstances can create really effective responses. There's nothing more spectacular than removing all tumour in a patient with advanced cancer. It, it is totally spectacular. Just the fact that this can occur really should be sparking a lot more interest and a lot more research with drug companies. The companies are sort of hitching on to the easy stuff, but they should be really hitching on to some of the difficult stuff because that's where a lot of the answers and a lot of commercial reality is going to come from too. If they can crack that nut, it would be really something in, in terms of trying to advance cancer therapy and open up a whole range of different approaches too. That's where we really should be focusing. I think what we're taking is, uh, what we're going for is a lot of the low-hanging fruit, you know, trying to generate antibodies that boost immune systems and things. That's, that's good. That seems to be working. But it's only working in about 30% of cases. So what about the other 70%? What are we going to do there? You know, I think we really should be going back to the drawing board and having a look at vaccines again. We should be really trying to work out how the immune system works on its own and try to modulate that. At the moment, we seem to be sort of playing around the edges instead of, you know, really trying to understand the fundamentals of how the immune system works. This evolutionary process goes on in every tumour. It modulates the tumour a bit more. Sometimes it's successful. It works, gets rid of the tumour or part of the tumour. Most of the time it does not work and the tumour persists and keeps growing. That's where the problem is. But we do know that there are ways using vaccines that you can modulate the tumours and you can actually get rid of them altogether. So this, this is the important point and uh, it's where we should be I believe focusing a lot more attention we are trying to do that ourselves but we need we need a lot more people to be working with us and in that vein to make it successful